what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna check the compression of all the cylinders I want to make sure that the compression is good on all these cylinders all right I'm really curious so I'm gonna start pulling the spark plugs out I'm also as of right now I'm gonna go ahead and pull the fuel pump relay that's clean that should be the fuel pump relay the second one not this one but the other one just wiggle it off and then that one right there I need to take it off carefully okay all right euro parts garbage so I'll leave these aside for right now I don't want any fuel to be getting anywhere into the cylinder so that's why this connected the fuel pumps uh, so as of right now i'm gonna start pulling the spark plug wires and we're gonna go ahead and try to start uh crank the engine and check the compression of so this gauge is not good it's actually leaking but when i was cranking it it was going up to like 160 something like that so that's a good sign on cylinder two i'm gonna check the rest of these cylinders and we'll see how things are but as you can see the gauge is not good but you'll just have to take my word for it and i'll let you know what i find but i'm going to check the rest of these cylinders all right so the gauge is right there so i'm gonna crank the engine that's cylinder number one right now and we're gonna try to see what it's showing okay Okay, so it was around 160, 170, something like that. This sucks, this gauge doesn't work. <laughs> but yeah, cylinder one, right there. Okay, that's good news, I'm gonna write it down. I need to see whether this engine is damaged or whether uh, it's good. You know, I need to make sure. That's why I'm doing this compression check. Okay, I need to get familiar with this engine and see where its health, uh, uh, where the health of this engine is at. So, so I just finished testing the compression, and all the cylinders are good. They're pretty much around 155 to 170 psi, for the exception of. This last cylinder right here, uh, which is showing 120 PSI or 8 bar. And I'm really upset right now. Um, I'm going to pour oil on there and recheck the compression. Mm, but I feel like, I don't know, maybe the piston rings are stuck or something, but it really sucks. Uh, and looking at the spark plug itself. Okay, one, two, three. This was number four, or uh, the last one, um, corresponding to that cylinder with low compression. So this really sucks. I'm really upset. I don't know. Uh, I might try to soak the cylinder in something. Maybe that will, you know, increase the compression or bring it back to life. Ah, but this really sucks, okay? The rest of the cylinders are okay. It's just that one. The last one is having an issue. It's literally showing 120 PSI uh, or 8 bar. All right, guys, so uh, after adding oil, I rechecked the compression and it went up to like 170, 180 PSI or so. Uh, so that definitely is a problem with something with piston rings. So I added, yeah, as of right now, it has, you know, um, oil in the cylinders, but I'm going to try to see maybe there's some kind of solvent I can put in there and just soak it, you know, and then I'll recheck the compression tomorrow again on that cylinder. 
but again you know i put oil in there but that's probably just going to be a temporary fix as of right now um yeah other than that i cleaned the rest of the spark plugs uh, i reinstalled six spark plugs right now the other two i have to replace because they're actually really bad and not good um and then some of the spark plugs got reinstalled and uh, that side is reinstalled um and uh yeah i'll just come back tomorrow and uh, i'll continue on and we'll see what's gonna happen as of right now um i removed um the battery tray and as you can see there's a lot of uh junk in here and a bunch of stuff and it's clogged up so tray that's pretty bad but it seems like it's still savable so I'm going to clean it really well, and we'll see what's going to happen. So I'm hoping that I can save it up, you know. I, uh, it's pretty bad, okay? So we're going to make it look good, and uh, I'll install it tomorrow, most likely. All right, guys, so I'm finally back, and today we're going to go ahead and install two brand new spark plugs. As you saw uh, in previous clips, two of the spark plugs were pretty bad. And the rest of them were also kind of bad, but I cleaned them up. And right now I'm gonna install those two brand new spark plugs that I bought. Um, and, you know, uh, like I said, we have the issue with the cylinder number eight compression. Uh, it's 120 uh, comparing to other uh, cylinders, which were 150 to 170 PSI. So I put some oil on that number, cylinder number eight. I'm gonna install the spark plug. We're gonna let it run and see how everything is. Then after it runs for some time, I'm gonna go ahead and recheck the compression you know if that if the compression is still low i'm gonna try some additives and stuff you know and hopefully we can revive this engine this amazing car so i'm looking towards that and uh anyways other than that i've been working on the interior on this car you know just kind of drying everything up cleaning it and stuff like that so my main goal right now is to take care of the engine all right two new spark plugs we're gonna install them on those two last cylinders and uh, we're gonna start this engine up I have the jumper ready and everything cycle the fuel pump a little I'm gonna try to start this baby some smoke from the oil oh boy still kind of rough All right, so the engine is hot and I'm going to be testing this compression on that cylinder because what I was doing while the engine was running, I was pulling each spark plug out and there was a change except for the last cylinder. So there's still a problem with this last cylinder. So I pulled out the spark plug and there was, there was no fuel on it. I didn't really smell fuel, which is weird. So maybe we're not getting fuel delivery. So I'm gonna recheck this compression test and see if we still have about 150 PSI on that cylinder after adding oil. All right, I'm gonna pull this off, crankshaft position sensor, and we're gonna see 
what's gonna what is gonna read right now let's see yeah it's still about 130 psi right now that really sucks 130 psi hmm is that causing us to have no combustion hmm or we have some vacuum leak or what interesting well, anyways i'm gonna pour oil in there again pour oil in there and then we're gonna start it up and see if it runs any better those few seconds with that oil still in there all right so I poured this time some automatic trans fluid in there i'm gonna let it soak and then i'm gonna crank the engine with the spark plug out just to make sure we don't hydro lock the engine and then i'm gonna reinstall the spark plug start it up and see if it's any better this is why you need to uh, make sure the spark plug is out when you crank the engine. It puked out a lot of ATF that I put in there. Okay, now we're safe to install the spark plug. Okay, I'm gonna crank it again. Everything is reinstalled. Let's see if it's any better. Oh yeah, that's definitely smoother. still still shaky so I'm wondering there's also an injector issue hmm all right so I took the air filter cover off and the air filter itself is actually good it was replaced by someone there was a lot of junk in here and debris under the filter so I'm still cleaning some of it but I had the cover the complete I had this thing completely out and while the engine was running i was actually trying to spray all the vacuum hoses to see if there's maybe a vacuum leak but i was unsuccessful uh, i didn't find any vacuum leaks and what i did is while the engine was running i was actually i tried to loosen the injector uh line on that last cylinder injector and there was actually fuel coming out of it all right so like i said the engine is still shaking still running like crap uh, it really sucks. I'm really upset. And most of it is uh, because, like I said, this uh, the owner didn't take care of this car. He literally didn't do anything. He didn't take care of it. He didn't change oil. Like, look at the oil. When I first came to see this car, I had to actually add oil uh, to it. Uh, maybe on camera it looks okay, but it's actually, during the daylight, it's, uh, it's actually really dark and nasty. I actually had to add a bunch of oil to it because when I first came to see this car the oil was uh, barely on the tip of the dipstick so it's really horrible I mean it has a lot of oil leaks and stuff but uh, uh, I don't know I'm really curious and wondering why the compression is low on this uh, last cylinder because the according to the owner he won't tell me the truth but somebody else told me that the car was operating great before that and then something happened and just started misfiring and shaking and everything and you know i don't know maybe some dirt got inside the cylinder maybe maybe just lack of oil change because he told me he owned this car for two years he maybe he drove like four or five thousand miles and but he didn't change oil on it or anything he didn't do anything to this car so i really don't know it really sucks and right now what i'm doing is i'm actually uh, soaking uh, the cylinder in some sea foam. I don't know, maybe that's gonna help. I'm gonna try some different products. Uh, I really want to revive the cylinder because that's that's the only thing that's not working. All the other cylinders are working. And I pulled this new spark plug out again and the combustion is just not occurring there. We have spark, okay? I checked physically with the test light. We do have spark coming out of this uh, spark plug wire. 
and we do have a fuel supply but there's literally there's uh, there's no combustion most likely just due to uh low compression 120 psi um yeah it's it's so upsetting uh, literally i mean this car can really be a really nice car just need to clean it up a little bit but other than that uh, i'm really upset i really hope i can uh, revive this engine that, that would be the best day of my life you know